Hi everyone, I'm Ivana, a collection specialist with New Mexico Historic Sites, and today we're going to be making cookie cutter adobe ornaments. While filming this video, all proper COVID protocols were taken. Since we're taking out all our ornaments to decorate, why not make some homemade ones to use or gift? Ornaments vary in size, materials, and themes, so let's make one that is a reflection of one of our staples here in this region. Adobe is commonly found in the Southwest and is used as building material. For example, you'll find some adobe buildings out at Fort Selden and at the Taylor Mesilla Historic Property. Now, I've already placed all the materials needed to make the adobe in our mixing bowl, but this is what we're going to be working with. Make sure you have your sand or clay mixture, some water, straw or corn husks, and a mixing bowl. Did you know that adobe is one of the oldest building materials in the world? When you mix your materials, you want to get a balanced consistency. It's not runny, nor is it hard or dry. I'd say the best comparison would be to cookie dough. If you notice that the mixture is too runny, that means you've added too much water. Just add some more sand and straw. If you notice the mixture is too hard, slowly add some extra water until you have that desired consistency. Once you've packed the adobe mixture in the cookie cutter, let it sit for a few minutes before you take them out. This helps the shape hold its form. After you've let it set, you'll want to carefully remove the cookie cutter. Once it's out, make a small hole near the top with a toothpick. Just not too high. We don't want it to crack. I found that pinching the top helps a little. And now we wait. Give or take at least two days for the ornament to dry. Place it in an area where it can get some light and breeze. This is what your ornament will look like once it's dried. The last step is to loop some straw or ribbon through the hole and tie it. Be careful when you tie it as some of the edges of your ornament may be delicate. If you notice that your straw or string don't go through the hole, a piece of straw may be blocking it. You can get a toothpick and carefully clear the hole. Also, if you can't find or don't have straw or corn husks, you can add a teaspoon of glue to your mix. This also serves as a binder. Finally, find a place to hang your ornament or gift it to someone special. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting.